In the previous video, I have made a Chrome extension to automate Instagram follow, comment, like and unfollow. You can find those videos on my channel. Now, I will share an Instagram bot made with Golan code, I made this bot for those of you who have a computer that is running 24 hours or if you have a Linux server. This bot is made to run on Windows and Linux OS. You can download it at the URL I have provided at this video's description text. This bot has advantages such as, for example, it can select feeds that match a particular hashtag, unfollow users who do not follow you, unfollow users who are not active, mention usernames in comments and most importantly it runs at random intervals. This bot is also very light and does not require a lot of memory because it does not need to run a browser. Welcome to Newbie Computers Channel. To run the bot on Windows, open a command prompt and go to the directory where the insta.exe file is located. Type insta and hit enter. The bot will run according to the specified configuration. Leave this command prompt window open don't close it to make bot run forever. If you want to stop the bot you can press Ctrl and C keys, or close the command prompt window. This bot has an interval in minutes and can be specified in the config file, it also has a chance option between 0 to 100, where 0 means disable and 100 means action must be performed, you can fill in the value as desire to increase the time variation to make it look like normal user activity. So when you run a bot, and it appears the bot has been doing nothing for some time, leave it alone, it's waiting for an interval. If you want to rebuild the code for Linux, you have to set the Golang environment for the OS and architecture, adjust to your target Linux whether 32-bit or 64-bit. If you don't want to do this, skip this section and you can use the binary versions provided in the bin folder. After the file is prepared, upload the file either Insta32 or Insta64 and config.txt, you only need these two files for the bot to run. Go to the path where the file is uploaded. Add the execute permission attribute to the insta.xx file. To 
run in the background, add the ampersand parameter at the end when running the bot. To terminate the bot, you can use kill command, to see the log file, you can use cat command with parameter logs.txt. In the main section, the debug to console key will display the log on the console that is running, turn off this option if the bot is running in the background on Linux. The debug to file option will write all logs to a logs file.txt, you can ignore the cinch interval option, the default value is 20 seconds. Next is your username and password on Instagram, you can use your secondary account to try this bot. If you are not sure about this, you can look at the entire bot code to make sure it is safe. In the follower section, this is an option for follow back, where the bot will look for accounts that have followed us but we haven't followed them. The enable key will turn this function off or on. The chance option is the percentage of the chance we will follow them, this is to give a random impression so that it looks like a normal user. The search interval option is the interval to refresh the list of accounts that have followed us, and the mention option is the maximum number of accounts that we mention in our comments if the auto comment option is turned on. The bot will mention accounts from the list of accounts that have followed us. The max follow back in day option limits the number of follow backs in one day, and the max follow back in section option limits the number of follow backs per session or every one hour. While the follow back interval option is the bot's delay time for the next follow back. In the unfollower section, these are the options for unfollowing followed accounts, accounts that never post or are inactive. The enable, chance and search interval options have the same function as in the previous follower section. Follow back option expired is the time limit in days from the account that we follow to follow us. If it exceeds the limit we set and he hasn't followed us, the bot will automatically unfollow the account. The post activity expired option is the time limit from the last time he posted, if it exceeds the time limit then he will be considered an inactive account. Exceptions username option is to ignore or not to unfollow the accounts in this list, separated by commas. In the auto section, these are the options for auto follow, auto like and auto comment based on existing feeds. These feeds can also be limited to certain hashtags. Almost all of the options have been described in the previous section. So we will only cover the comment option. This option allows you to put a list of comments that will be used randomly. Bot will randomly comment on a post with a sentence that is in this list. In the feeds section there are options for the settings of the feeds that we are looking for. In these feeds the bot will look for posts to like or comment and accounts to follow. The tags option is a filter for searching feeds with a specific hashtag, fill in with the name of the hashtag separated by a comma and without starting with a number sign. While the expired option is the time limit in days the age of the posting is considered expired and will be skipped. Once you have adjusted all the configurations according to your needs, you can run this bot on Windows or Linux. If you get an error message failed to log in, try checking your username and password. If it's still an error, you can try by deleting the session file in the folder.